I also, before I start, want to say that was awkward. Everything I say is so awkward. Fuck, why am I so awkward? Yes, it is the real Tana Mojo. Editing, uploading, and fucking filming on a schedule. I'm so proud. You should be proud. Let's all just take a second to fucking cry because I never thought this day would come. So yeah, I'm excited to announce to you guys that I'm now going to be uploading twice a week because I got my shit together. This is now clean. I'm now editing, uploading, and everything's just figured out, and I'm a pro YouTuber. Rock on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I hate myself. I also, before I start, want to say that was awkward. Everything I say is so awkward. Fuck. Why am I so awkward? Anyways, I want to say thank you for 25,000 subscribers. That is insane. It's like every single time I film a video, it's more subscribers, and that's just weird that people on the internet like me. Like, thank you. I love you so much. Fuck. <laughs> I know that all I seem to upload lately is story time videos, but that is all you guys request. Like every time I tweet to you and I'm like, story time video or rant, story time video or favorites, story time video or question and answer, story time video or me fisting my fucking dog's asshole, you guys always say story time, so that's all I do. But eventually I'm gonna run out of these and then I'm just gonna have a shit channel, so be happy while it lasts. All right, so today I'm gonna to be telling you guys the story of the time that me and Maya stole a car. Maya and I stole a car. Fuck you, grammar Nazis. Anyways, yep, my best friend Maya, she is often on my YouTube channel. She's in like all of my vlogs. You can check her out, whatever. A lot of you guys follow her on Instagram. But yeah, my best friend Maya and I were in California in Huntington Beach for spring break. And this spring break was already the weirdest spring break of my life by far. Like, I talked about it a little bit in a previous Q&A, but it was just weird. We went to Huntington Beach, California with two guys that are best friends that were our pretty good friends. You know what I mean? My biggest pet peeve in the entire world is when random beauty guru ass bitches say, do you know what I mean? For no reason. And I hella just did it. And I'm watching this editing and I have second in embarrassment at myself and I'm so fucking sorry. Like, fuck. The whole trip was just a weird trip. It wasn't what we expected it to be at all. Everyone was just weird and annoying and bleh. But that's beside the point. So the weird trip goes through and we are on the last day of our trip. It's the last day of spring break. We have a good day. We hang out with our friends all day. And we're about to leave to go home to Vegas where we live. And one of the guys that we were with was like, bro, I really want to go to the beach before I leave. Like, can we just go one time before we leave? Like, and then we'll go on the road, I swear. Like, we just want to walk on the beach. And they drove us there in their car. So obviously we're not going to be like, no, you can't go to the beach. Like, you have to say yes, you know? Ugh. So we were like, okay, yeah, go to the beach. That's fine. Me and Maya are going to stay in the car. So, because we were like tired, we're like, the best way to explain it is Maya and I are just like small grandmas who like don't like doing things. So, yeah. Oh my god, I'm an annoying suck up ass bitch who says yeah in a high pitched tone for no reason. Woo! Um, we drive to the beach and once we get to the beach, they get out and go venture off with a bunch of their friends and they're like, turn up beach, yeah bro, rock on, yeah. Nobody actually says rock on, I just hella say that like a loser, so yeah. Okay. So we get to the beach parking lot and Maya and I stay in their car and before he leaves to go to the beach, he tells us, please don't drive my car, please don't move my car, this isn't my car, it's my mom's car, like if you crash it, I'm in trouble, like all this stuff, like he basically was just frantically saying not to move or take the car anywhere and we were like, okay, we're not, we're just gonna sit here and listen to music, like that's all, don't worry, we promise. So yeah. Honestly, if you're still watching this due to my annoying yas, I fucking commend you, but please continue. The story does get better. Shameless self-promo, even though I fucking hate myself. We were sitting in the car. Maya was on the phone with her boyfriend. I was fucking scrolling through Twitter, you know, watching horse porn. No, I'm just kidding. I hate myself. Once again, I really hate myself. Why can I not just say vulgar things? Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so we we're just chilling, sitting in the car. And I realized that I had to pee. So I got out of the car and, well, backtrack. 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 I realized I had to pee. And this car was parked up against the beach. And then behind the car was like a really big alleyway, which is unsafe. I don't know why I always put myself in unsafe situations. Fuck, I'm going to die prematurely. Please enjoy these videos while they last. So, 
yeah, beach, car, alleyway. And I looked up places to pee and there weren't any by. The only place I could have gone was a club that was 21 and up. I'm not 21. I couldn't get in. So I peed on the side of the road. I'm a gross ass bitch. I've never done that before. I am disgusted by that. I hate even thinking about it. But what you gonna do? Life. Life, man. Life is like a bowl of lemons. Sometimes you piss on the side of the road. So, yeah, I peed. I get back in the car, and earlier that day, I ate a California burrito, which if you're not from the West Coast, you might not be familiar with it. It's basically your average Mexican food burrito. Guacamole, beans, sour cream, cheese. You know, bomb.com. So good with green sauce. Highly recommend. But I think you know where this is going. I peed, ate a burrito earlier in the day. I now have to shit. I'm sorry for saying that. I just don't like the word poop. I think it's gross. It's much grosser than the word shit, in my opinion. I don't want to say defecate. I'm not going to be like, number two. I'm not going to be like, use the restroom. Like, I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. I have to shit. Unsubscribe. Hate me. Everybody poops. Sorry. Yeah. So I had to shit. And I tell Maya, and I'm like, hey, I hella have to shit. Like, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, in an hour, I'm really going to have to shit. It was like, I'm going to fucking shit my nice-ass fucking boyfriend jeans if I don't fucking find a bathroom. So I get on the maps, and I try to look for a place nearby to walk, first of all, because I'm trying to respect this dude and his car and his mom's car. But everywhere is far as fuck, because fuck you, California. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I personally suck at driving. I am not a good driver. I don't have a car. Long story, whatever. Fuck that shit. And so I don't drive. I know how to drive a car in emergency situations, but I'm not going to volunteer myself to drive someone else's car if I know I'm not fantastic. A good example would be I can drive a car really well on regular roads, but freeways freak me out. So yeah. Maya, on the other hand, is also not licensed, but is apparently a good driver. She's gonna watch this and fucking kill herself because we have two totally different interpretations of this story. I'm sorry, Maya. Sorry. So, anyways, yeah. I was like, Maya, can you please drive this car to take me to shit? We'll come back in five minutes. He'll never know, like, whatever, you know? And she's like, sure, like, obviously, if you really have to shit, you really have to shit. So, she drives the car, and I ask her, I'm sorry again, Maya, if you're watching this, but I ask her, are you a good driver? Can you drive this car? Can we get back here? Are we safe? She says yes. She said yes. She swears up and down. So we start driving the car down the road to get to this gas station for me to shit at. And immediately, something that doesn't happen in Vegas that apparently happens in California, the windows start completely fogging up. Completely. And when I say completely, I mean we could not see anything out of the car windows. Like anything at all out of these windows. And they start fogging up completely. We rolled down the windows to try to get it to stop. Keep in mind, we're going down a road right now with other cars on it. Cars are honking, like whatever. We get it to clear up a little, but it's still totally foggy. We drive out in a car, almost sideswipes us. Just a horrible fucking experience overall. Like, we can't see shit out of this window. And we're both freaking out. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs. We literally almost got sideswiped, like, so close. And then after we, like, stop freaking out and we start driving, the maps that is mapping to this gas station, I don't live in California, so I don't know where I am. So I'm having to map and the map is like mapping us to a gas station that like doesn't exist. Like every time we're about to arrive, it reroutes and we had to like keep doing it and it would just keep making us circle in weird ways. And finally I'm like, fuck it. I don't even care about this shit. Like we just need to get back to where the car was because like that guy, our friend is going to fucking murder us if we don't get the car back. So yeah, I look for, we look for a bathroom and other places. Everything's closed because Everything in the rest of the world is in 24 hours like Vegas. Get with the program, rest of the world. Fuck you. So, panic attacking currently. So, we pull over and we map back to the location that we were previously, right? And we're like 10 minutes away. I don't know how that happened, but we were like 10 minutes away. And the only route that it was taking us to get back to where we were was to get on the freeway drive for like nine minutes and then exit and then get off at the beach and Maya 
starts having like an anxiety attack and it's like, I can't drive on the freeway. I can't drive his car on the freeway. Like I don't know how to drive on the freeway. And then me being a stupid ass bitch, not realizing that when people have anxiety attacks, you're not supposed to scream at them. I start being like, you said you were a good driver. You said you were a good driver. And then Maya's like, yeah, I can't drive on the freeway. Like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how at all. Like, I'm not going to do that. Maya's having a full blown fucking like wheezing, freaking the fuck out. I'm so sorry, Maya. Panic attack because I screamed at her and we can't get back to where his car was and we need to get home to Vegas and we left our friends at the beach and just, it was fucking horrible. So we have to call the guy now that we left his car and we're like, hey, so Tana had to shit and um, we took the car and now we're lost and we almost crashed it and we're by the freeway, so can you please come get us? We're really sorry, we love you. And he's like, oh my god, it's my mom's car. Fuck you. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I asked one thing of you. Like, da da da. And we're like, I'm really sorry. Like, I really had to shit. Like, I didn't mean to. Like, nah, bodily functions, man. Gotta hate them. Yeah. So he has his friend drive him to the car. And he is livid, like, so fucking mad. Like, so fucking mad. I still have to shit. He, he has to drive me to a 24-hour subway where I have to go in there and take a fucking fat shit in the subway bathroom. They made me buy something before I could shit in their bathroom. So I had to buy a fucking white chocolate macadamia nut cookie and I ate it while I shit. Yep. I know. And then we got in the car and we all drove home to Vegas. And the entire drive home, he didn't say one word to us. And since then, I have not spoken to him. So, that's the time Maya and I stole a car and almost crashed it. And I had to shit in a subway bathroom. I don't really know. Maya, I'm sorry. You have an entirely different misinterpretation of the story. But, yeah. That's it. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram, suck my dick. Yep, I upload two videos every week. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.